Hello everybody, welcome back to another Friday video. I got another video coming at you today. Today, I'll be going over some tips and tricks on how to properly click, click, how to properly cut, uh, trim and cut your fingernails. So let's get right into this video. All right, to start off, before you're gonna clip your nails, what do you need? Guess what, a nail clipper. No, I like the ones, just like this one, that has a little uh, hook here and a nail file, I can't, yeah, nail file. I like this hook because before I start cutting my nails, I like to go in the nails and just dig out all that dirt first before I cut them, just because when I, if I cut them without it, uh, the dirt may still be in there. So if you're gonna go buy a pair, try and look for one with the hook so you can just dig that stuff out. But then of course, if you don't wanna go out and uh, you know, buy the one with the hook, or you already have a pair. Uh, you can always use uh, the end, this part, as a hook. It may not work. Uh, it may not get deep in the nail, but at least help clean some of that dirt out. So, like I've already mentioned before, I start off. I like to go uh, through each nail and clean out that dirt with this hook here. It's good because it, uh, if you remove the dirt, you know, less chance of an infection. And, you know, people just don't want to see the dirt under your nails. It looks, you know, it's dirty. You know, you touching food or whatever and they're touching. It's, it's you know, it's just hygiene. So I always use a hook, go through each, and then I'll start to cut. Okay, to actually start off now, I like to cut my nails so uh, this white portion, the extra growth is uh, gone. So I'll normally uh, just trim off the white. I won't go any further. You know, they'll probably cut yourself and stuff like that. But it's good with uh, the nail clippers. They can just go in and they'll go right down to the uh, the base of the nail there so you can clip and get that uh, that white uh, extra overgrowth off. So it's there, just cut off the top. And I'll do that for all of them. And then, you know, once I'm finished, I'll do an extra step, but let me cut my nails first. So there we go, cut them all. Now what I would normally do, and it, it's a good with the, uh, this pair of nail clippers, because like I said, I mentioned the file earlier. If I have any rough uh, areas or patches, or I just want to round it off, I'll use a file and just file the nail until you know it's rounded, or like I said, I took off, take, to take off some of those rough uh, spots so you, you know don't scratch anybody but uh, if you don't have the the file but do have a like a you know a female in the house they probably have a file for their nails anyways because they like to file their nails so you can always grab that file them off if you want to and then there you go you're ready to go now I don't have it but a few times I'm trying to focus this uh, you'll get like a flab of skin that uh, hangs down and some people like to pick it. I like to, you know, it's it's t hard for me not to bite it off or anything. But if that happens, it's from lack of moisture to that area. So what you want to do if you have that, and this is what you can do with the, the tops here, because they have that, that loose skin there too. You can grab a moisturizer and just go over that, um, those areas just to, bring like i said bring moisture back and it'll um, uh, get rid of those um, uh, dead pieces dry pieces and i'll it'll, it'll just rejuvenate the skin but yeah that's pretty much how i cut my nails and how uh you guys could too so you know like i said i recommend a nail clipper with a hook to get the dirt out and a file but if you don't have a file or a hook you can still use the um the nail clipper itself, it may be a little harder, but it still works. And then, like I said, if you have a female in the house, they might have a file that you can use if you want to get off some of those rough edges or just round the nail off. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.